What's up guys? We are here with King of Random, Grant Thompson. We are here to use liquid nitrogen on an iPhone 7. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. So yesterday I went down to the store, you know, the local grocery store and picked up 35 liters of liquid nitrogen as you do. This thing is <laughs> as, chock- As you do, as he does. <laughs> that thing's just full of liquid nitrogen, huh? This stuff is minus 321 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like the coldest substance we can get on earth without a vacuum. Wow. So we're gonna pour it into a pie dish dump the iPhone 7 in there until it gets ridiculously cold, and then see if we can karate chop it in half. Karate chop it in half. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. And we did a video earlier where we used Proto Putty to see if it can protect an iPhone 7 from a 100 foot drop. That's over on Grant's channel. So if you want to check that out, link in the description or link at the end. All right, so we're going to transfer the liquid nitrogen from this doer into the little thermos there so we can work with it a little bit easier. I'm gonna let this guy fill it up because it is chock full and that's not light. So you, you need a strong man to do this? Let's sure get that? a strong man to do this. All right, Here, I'm just gonna have you pour that directly into there. And uh, don't spill this on your fingers. Do not do this at home. Here it comes. All right, there just it dump goes. it in there, dump it in there. That is crazy looking. <laughs> and it is super cold, but you just get in there for a second, no big deal. Really? Wow. You can actually hear the thermos like cracking. It's it's cooling down so fast. And now look down inside there, you can see the liquid starting to swirl. Like it boils almost looking? Yeah. Why, it, what causes it to boil like that, do you know? It's because the temperature out here is 60 degrees and that's minus 321. So there's like a 400 degree difference. So, it's just, so whatever it touches instantly vaporizes. So how, how long do you have to keep your finger in there to uh, damage it, you know? Should we get this guy to stick his hand in there? I don't know, what do you think? Oh my. If you do it quick enough, you shouldn't feel anything. Really? Right, give it a try. Just tap it? As far, yeah, really fast, in and out. Whew. Come on, put your whole hand in, man. Oh my god, this is scary. <laughs> Woo, no, yeah. no, no, put your whole hand in. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Dang. I'm such a pansy. Dang. Well, okay. good enough. Okay, okay. All, right. all right, here we go. You ready? Oh. Uh, I'd say that was like uh, half a hand. Hey, it got to here, it got to here. <laughs> this is a functional iPhone 7. You can see it's matte black, 32 gig. Let's go ahead and put it in there. Look at the way that dances around. Yeah, let's put a little bit more in there. Okay, now it's surrounding the phone. The phone's completely underneath it now. The screen looks okay. It's still going, it's been like 30 seconds. Look at the edges of the phone. You can see like a gas vapor coming out from the yeah. sides. Change, is the edge changing color or is that just uh, bubbles? Oh, now we're, we're in float mode. <laughs> The liquid crystal display is starting to freeze from the edges in. You can see right here. Wow, that's really cool. And now the boiling stopped, which means it's pretty much brought down to temperature. But somehow the phone is just fine. And that's probably partially because of the uh, waterproofing of the iPhone 7. There's a, there it turned off. Can we turn it back on? No, it's done. So it's completely gone now, huh? All right, well, let's dump the rest of it in here and just bring it down to the lowest temperature possible. Think that's enough? Put your hand in there. Watch it. You can like watch it dance around. Just don't do it too long. It kind of it, it gives you that frostbite feeling. That ah. is cool. Actually, you see my skin turn white there for a second. There should be just enough for it to get bit. Yeah, there we go. Right there. Liquid nitrogen frostbite right there. I always that's thought liquid spot. nitrogen was more dangerous. Well, it can be. I mean, if you took a bath in this stuff, it wouldn't take long for you to. Oh yeah. Pretty solid. Oh yeah, and you wouldn't want to keep your hand in there for more than like a second. No. Otherwise you'd be doing some serious damage. But with liquid nitrogen, you can tell when the object is cooled down when the raging boil settles down. So when that levels out completely, then we know we're pretty much at like the lowest temperature possible. At that point, we're gonna get out our trusty tongs, we'll lay it down up. on the bricks here, and give and it one of these. <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> Ooh, that's cold. You wanna touch it? Whoa! Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh man, I almost thought it was a goner there. I thought that was gonna shatter. Okay, the screen did oh, shatter yeah, a little look, bit. Yeah, so you can't drop test it. <laughs> so we're shooting with the V1611. This thing can shoot at 18,500 frames per second. And we're gonna try to record it at that speed for the karate chop. Should have some really, really cool detail. Look down inside there, you can see bubbles in the veins. It's boiling inside, like boiling yeah. Inside, yeah. Behind the screen. That's super cool. So one thing I've always been wondering about is how badly will an iPhone 7 shatter if it's been in liquid nitrogen for like 15 minutes, it's at that super, super low temperature. Like I've always theorized, and this is where I think I'll be proved wrong today, where if you karate chopped it, maybe you could do some serious damage cutting a lot of the components or maybe the whole phone in half. 
and I think you know much more of the science behind it. Uh, you were saying earlier, you don't think that could happen. Well, I have I have a video on my channel where I karate chop rocks in half. The thing about rocks is they're very brittle. Uh -huh. uh, we are taking the components of the iPhone 7 and making them very brittle as well. Uh -huh. However, it's still metal, so I'm not really expecting the aluminum will get a clean cut. Right, it, it right. probably is just gonna bend and flop, but the other components inside, like the glass, I think is gonna be a pretty the good The motherboard, I wonder what'll happen with the lithium ion battery. You know, like there's a number of things that we're not sure, like what, what parts will, will be chopped, what parts won't be chopped, and this is just from a human hand. We have a very narrow channel to work with, and I'm actually pretty nervous about taking my hand through that. <laughs> if I miss, man, it's gonna be like a ah. really sore hand tomorrow morning, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So without further ado, let's get to the chopping. Just to make sure it's as cold as we can get it. That's right. Oh man, freaking nervous. Oh! <laughs> that was a lot tougher than I expected. <laughs> Your hand okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, good. I kinda, no I kinda, glass. Like, hurt the bone. But at least I hit the phone, but man, wow. What? I was, I was crazy. Yeah, I was expecting at least that to, to be a lot more. I'm really impressed at the pattern that the glass shattered. <laughs> so now look, like the LCD screen on the inside just folded in as well. Yeah. That seems to be relatively flexible. Let's yeah. let's check the phantom clip. I gave that some good force. I thought I thought it was gonna go through. Yeah. Sit there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can see how my hand's flopping. You, you can tell that wasn't a pansy hit. Wow, and the glass shards coming off of that. I might have to hit it harder next time. Oh, look at how my finger's flopping around. My, yeah. my whole hand turned to jello. Yeah, jello and he, <laughs> the pinky finger. Pinky's like up near the middle finger. <laughs> that doesn't look natural. Oh, that is awesome looking though. We gotta do that again, but from the side so you can see the whole hand. All right, so the second one we're gonna do barehanded just for the shot. Okay, it's all about the shot. It's crazy. <laughs> now you just want to let your iPhone saute on uh, medium low heat there for about 10 minutes. That's right, that's right. <laughs> this is kind of like a piece of paper, right? You just got to fold it back and forth, alternating until it cuts. Yeah, I, I, I actually don't want my hand to go through because if it does, I think it's gonna get all scraped up with aluminum and all that. Take two, barehanded, here we go. Look, you can still see the liquid nitrogen rolling up there. Here we go, winding up. Alright, so here comes your hand. Nice uh, rigid form and your <laughs> skin just melded down and like that punctured. Awesome. You know, oh, it, and oh there that's where it stops right there. Yeah. It does, uh it didn't did it go all the way through the second time? I think it did. It did, it did, it that's did. right. But that's still a really good chop. We got a bunch of glass shards flying up. But I just love the very beginning where your hand and this becomes jello. It just disappears. It just like disappears into this chasm. Yeah, it just turns into a big skin bag of jelly. Yeah, exactly. You you did a really good job keeping your uh, wrist very stiff. You know, like <laughs> I was trying fingers, not to move like... my hand because like I did not want to hit the concrete. <laughs> but that is impressive. Dang. I love the way the glass just bounces off the concrete there. Yeah, it kind of siphons up. Oh, dude, 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 dude. What What happened? Oh, check it out. It did bend hardcore. I actually snapped it hard enough. Like, if you bent it a little bit more, Woo. that's freezing. But look, look, we did crack the metal it, there. It, le it legitimately did. Crack the metal there. And let's hit one more really quick. Three, two, one. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm just going to hit it again What right here. Ready? <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. You know what's happening is it's just bending. It's, it's, it is cutting like paper though, it's, it's coming through. So let's move these a little closer. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, I hit my hand on both of those, but I think we got it. Yeah, we did. Look at that. We got the chop chop. There's the battery. The battery is halfway chopped in half too. Cool. That is nuts. Look at that. Yeah. Dude. That took a lot more work than I was expecting. It happened. Yeah. It happened. <laughs> and it was about, what, six chops? And we got it to chop literally in half. Yeah, I think a lot of it was because the gap we had was wide enough that it would start to bend and then the whole phone would just fall it didn't. It didn't, fall, it didn't bend in half enough. Because that last yeah. one, when I pushed the cinder blocks together, my hand actually hit the block. It kind of bounced off it. Yeah, impressively. No damage to the hand whatsoever. Oh, like maybe a little trace pieces of glass and goo, but... 
That was freaking epic. I can't believe we actually got the job. I know, that was cool. It, What's amazing to me is that that temperature, the metal is still as flexible as it is. Right. It, it doesn't just shatter like steel would do. It's actually it, quite flexible. This battery's getting ridiculously hot. Feel I that. can smell feel, it feel too. That, feel that, feel that. <laughs> yeah. So real quick before we go, tell us a little bit about your channel and why everyone should go subscribe. I'm Grant Thompson. I'm the king of random. I have a lot of random weekend projects, things that I like to get into. I do mad science experiments, life hacks, and uh, whatever else we feel like. I guess dropping phones from 100 feet off of a drone. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We did that today. We made a phone case out of proto putty and then dropped it 100 feet from a drone. So if you want to see that, link in the description. Jump on over and take yep. a look. Love to see you on my channel. And, yep. uh, treat you well take good care of you all right well big shout out to grant thanks so much for having me in utah yeah so cool having you up here totally random how this happened <laughs> i i called him out of the blue he said hey i'm passing by your house tomorrow so we got together and made this all happen with one day's notice yeah. how awesome is that anyway thanks so much for having me we'll see you next time brandon and grant out Woo.